CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 12 Ratio and Proportion Part 2 Page 251 Exercise 12.1 1. There are 20 girls and 15 boys in a class. A. What is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys? B. What is the ratio of number of girls to the total number of students in the class? 2. Out of 30 students in a class, 6 like football, 12 like cricket and remaining like tennis. Find the ratio of A. Number of students liking football to number of students liking tennis. B. Number of students liking cricket to total number of students. 3. See the figure and find the ratio of A. Number of triangles to the number of circles inside the rectangle. B. Number of squares to all the figures inside the rectangle. C. Number of circles to all the figures inside the rectangle. Next to the question we have a figure in which we see some triangles, circles, squares, etc. 4. Distances travelled by Hamid and Akhtar in an hour are 9 kilometers and 12 kilometers. Find the ratio of speed of Hamid to the speed of Akhtar. 5. Fill in the following blanks. 15 upon 18 is equal to dash upon 6 is equal to 10 upon dash is equal to dash upon 30. Are these equivalent ratios? 6. Find the ratio of the following. A. 81 to 108 B. 98 to 63 C. 33 kilometers to 121 kilometers D. 30 minutes to 45 minutes 7. Find the ratio of the following. A. 30 minutes to 1.5 hours. B. 40 centimeters to 1.5 meters. C. 55 paise to 1 rupee. D. 500 milliliters to 2 liters. 8. In a year, Seema earns 1,50,000 rupees and saves 50,000 rupees. Find the ratio of a. Money that Seema earns to the money she saves. B. Money that she saves to the money she spends. 9. There are 102 teachers in a school of 3,300 students. Find the ratio of the number of teachers to the number of students. 10. In a college, out of 4,320 students, 2,300 are girls. Find the ratio of a. Number of girls to the total number of students. B. Number of boys to the number of girls. Page 252. C. Number of boys to the total number of students. 11. Out of 1,800 students in a school, 750 opted basketball, 800 opted cricket and remaining opted table tennis. If a student can opt only one game, find the ratio of A. Number of students who opted basketball to the number of students who opted table tennis. B. Number of students who opted cricket to the number of students opting basketball. C. Number of students who opted basketball to the total number of students. 12. Cost of a dozen pens is 180 rupees and cost of 8 ball pens is 56 rupees. Find the ratio of the cost of a pen to the cost of a ball pen. 13. Consider the statement. Ratio of breadth and length of a hall is 2 is to 5. Complete the following table that shows some possible breadths and lengths of the hall. Breadth of the hall in meters 10 dash 40 length of the hall in meters 25 50 dash
14. Divide 20 pens between Sheila and Sangeetha in the ratio of 3 is to 2. 15. Mother wants to divide 36 rupees between her daughters Shreya and Bhumika in the ratio of their ages. If age of Shreya is 15 years and age of Bhumika is 12 years, find how much Shreya and Bhumika will get. 16. Present age of father is 42 years and that of his son is 14 years. Find the ratio of A. Present age of father to the present age of son. B. Age of the father to the age of son when son was 12 years old. C. Age of father after 10 years to the age of son after 10 years. D. Age of father to the age of son when father was 30 years old. 12.3 Proportion Consider this situation. Raju went to the market to purchase tomatoes. One shopkeeper tells him that the cost of tomatoes is 40 rupees for 5 kilograms. Another shopkeeper gives the cost as 6 kilograms for 42 rupees. Now what should Raju do? Should he purchase tomatoes from the first shopkeeper? or from the second? Will the comparison by taking the difference help him decide? No. Why not? Think of some way to help him. Discuss with your friends. Consider another example. Bhavika has 28 marbles and Vinny has 180 flowers. They want to share these among themselves. Bhavika gave 14 marbles to Vini and Vini gave 90 flowers to Bhavika. Page 253 But Vini was not satisfied. She felt that she had given more flowers to Bhavika than the marbles given by Bhavika to her. Next to the question we see the picture of the two girls exchanging their different items. What do you think? Is Vinny correct? To solve this problem, both went to Vinny's mother, Pooja. Pooja explained that out of 28 marbles, Bhavika gave 14 marbles to Vinny. Therefore, ratio is 14 is to 28, which is equal to 1 is to 2. And out of 180 flowers, Vinny had given 90 flowers to Bhavika. Therefore, Ratio is 90 is to 180, which is equal to 1 is to 2. Since both the ratios are the same, so the distribution is fair. Two friends, Ashma and Pankhuri, went to market to purchase hair clips. They purchased 20 hair clips for 30 rupees. Ashma gave 12 rupees and Pankhuri gave 18 rupees. After they came back home, Ashma asked Pankuri to give 10 hair clips to her. But Pankuri said, Since I have given more money, so I should get more clips. You should get 8 hair clips and I should get 12. Can you tell who is correct? Ashma or Pankuri? Why? Ratio of money given by Ashma to the money given by Pankuri is equal to rupees 12 is to rupees 18 which is equal to 2 is to 3. According to Ashma's suggestion, the ratio of the number of hair clips for Ashma to the number of hair clips for Pankuri is equal to 10 is to 10, which is equal to 1 is to 1. According to Pankuri's suggestion, the ratio of the number of hair clips for Ashma to the number of hair clips for Pankuri is equal to 8 is to 12, which is equal to 2 is to 3. Now, notice that according to Ashma's distribution, ratio of hair clips and the ratio of money given by them is not the same. But according to Pankuri's distribution, the two ratios are the same. Hence, we can say that Pankuri's distribution is correct. Sharing a ratio means something. Consider the following examples. Raj purchased 3 pens for 15 rupees and Anu purchased 10 pens for 50 rupees. 
whose pens are more expensive? Ratio of number of pens purchased by Raj to the number of pens purchased by Anu is equal to 3 is to 10. Ratio of their costs is equal to 15 is to 50, which is equal to 3 is to 10. Both the ratios 3 is to 10 and 15 is to 50 are equal. Therefore, the pens were purchased for the same price by both. Page 254 Rahim sells 2 kilograms of apples for 180 rupees and Roshan sells 4 kilograms of apples for 360 rupees. Whose apples are more expensive? Ratio of the weight of apples is equal to 2 kilogram is to 4 kilogram, which is equal to 1 is to 2. Ratio of their cost is equal to 180 rupees is to 360 rupees, which is equal to 6 is to 12, which is equal to 1 is to 2. So the ratio of weights of apples is equal to ratio of their cost. Since both the ratios are equal, hence we say that they are in proportion. They are selling apples at the same rate. If two ratios are equal, we say that they are in proportion and use the symbol double columns or equal to to equate the two ratios. For the first example, we can say 3, 10, 15 and 50 are in proportion, which is written as 3 is to 10, double colon, 15 is to 50 and is read as 3 is to 10 as 15 is to 50. Or it is written as 3 is to 10 is equal to 15 is to 50. For the second example, we can say 2, 4, 180 and 360 are in proportion, which is written as 2 is to 4, double colon, 180 is to 360 and is read as 2 is to 4 as 180 is to 360. Let us consider another example. A man travels 35 kilometers in 2 hours. With the same speed, would he be able to travel 70 kilometers in 4 hours? Now, ratio of the two distances traveled by the man is 35 to 70, which is equal to 1 is to 2. And the ratio of the time taken to cover these distances is 2 to 4, which is equal to 1 is to 2. Hence, the two ratios are equal. That is, 35 is to 70 is equal to 2 is to 4. Therefore, we can say that the four numbers, 35, 70, 2 and 4, are in proportion. Hence, we can write it as, 35 is to 70, double colon, 2 is to 4, and read it as, 35 is to 70, as 2 is to 4. Hence, he can travel 70 kilometers in 4 hours with that speed. Try these. Check whether the given ratios are equal, that is, they are in proportion. If yes, then write them in the proper form. 1. 1 is to 5 and 3 is to 15. 2. 2 is to 9 and 18 is to 81. 3. 15 is to 45 and 5 is to 25. 4. 4 is to 12 and 9 is to 27. 5. 10 rupees to 15 rupees and 4 to 6. Now consider this example. Cost of 2 kilogram of apples is 180 rupees and a 5 kilogram watermelon costs 45 rupees. Now ratio of the weight of apples to the weight of watermelon is 2 is to 5. And ratio of the cost of apples to the cost of the watermelon is 180 is to 45 which is equal to 4 is to 1. Here the two ratios 2 is to 5 and 180 is to 45 are not equal. That is, 2 is to 5 is not equal to 180 is to 45. Therefore, the four quantities 2, 5, 180 and 45 are not in proportion. Page 255 
if two ratios are not equal, then we say that they are not in proportion. In a statement of proportion, the four quantities involved when taken in order are known as respective terms. First and fourth terms are known as extreme terms. Second and third terms are known as middle terms. For example, in 35 is to 70 as 2 is to 4, 35, 70, 2, 4 are the four terms. 35 and 4 are the extreme terms. 70 and 2 are the middle terms. Example 8. Are the ratios 25 grams is to 30 grams and 40 kilograms is to 48 kilograms in proportion? Solution. 25 grams is to 30 grams is equal to 25 upon 30, which is equal to 5 is to 6. 40 kilogram is to 48 kilograms is equal to 40 upon 48, which is equal to 5 is to 6. So, 25 is to 30 is equal to 40 is to 48. Therefore, the ratios 25 grams is to 30 grams and 40 kilograms is to 48 kilograms are in proportion. That is, 25 is to 30 as 40 is to 48. The middle terms in this are 30, 40 and the extreme terms are 25, 48. Example 9. Are 30, 40, 45 and 60 in proportion? Solution. Ratio of 30 to 40 is equal to 30 upon 40 which is equal to 3 is to 4. Ratio of 45 to 60 is equal to 45 upon 60 which is equal to 3 is to 4. Since 30 is to 40 is equal to 45 is to 60, therefore 30, 40, 45, 60 are in proportion. Example 10. Do the ratios 15 centimeters to 2 meters and 10 seconds to 3 minutes form a proportion? Solution. Ratio of 15 centimeters to 2 meters is equal to 15 is to 2 into 100. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, which is equal to 3 is to 40. Ratio of 10 seconds to 3 minutes is equal to 10 is to 3 multiplied by 60. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, which is equal to 1 is to 18. Since 3 is to 40 is not equal to 1 is to 18, therefore the given ratios do not form a proportion. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India.